So it is okay. rhubarb season. season. Isn't this amazing? Oh my I cannot gosh. believe the rhubarb is so humongous. I know. It's, and you know what? It's I gotta be than my totally head. honest. I stole this out of my neighbor's garden. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but he let me, okay? Because uh, he's got this massive garden, and you know, I used to sneak it. Now I just, I'm upright. Anyway, so <laughs> there's actually a photograph that we, we put a sign in his uh, rhubarb because so nobody would take it. Yeah. Because I wanted really big leaves. And, what yeah, does that little sign say? Rhubarb alert, you know, do not take this. Tom gave me permission. And, <laughs> and, and don't take it until after June the 1st. Anyway, so you that, marked the rhubarb for City Line. The rhubarb. So I anyway, yeah. And I, I even post on Instagram. Okay, so here's what we did when I was growing up. I thought rhubarb was the most disgusting vegetable. It's not a right. fruit, although we treat it like a fruit. And my parents would make it, and I thought it smelled like. B.O. You know, I mean, I didn't like it. But this is what my girlfriend and I would do. So you have to know that the leaves are toxic. Yes. It's really don't important. Eat them. And when you cut them, don't even cut them really close up. It's got uh, oxalic, ox uh, oxalic oxid in it. Okay. So you want to cut it a little bit farther down. Oh. So my dad would cut all these rhubarb leaves off. And my girlfriend and I, you know, who basically were insane, we used to make <laughs> stuff out of it. So here's your hat. So you, you would put this on your, you, we would put them on our head. And then you get a, a lovely scarf. This is what you this would is, do, huh? Yeah, because this, this is what we would do. And it's, a, it's a bonnet. It's a bonnet. It's a bonnet. It's a, did you live in the country? No, we lived in the city in, in Vancouver. And then when we got older, we made them into bikinis because, you know, we didn't wear them in public. So, yeah, depending on how big the leaf needed to be. So, you, what you do is, yeah, this, I think that I brought a lot of colors. So, okay. what you would do is that you would you give me wrap that it around there. and, and kind of like go over top and, oh, like and then that. like that. And so, isn't, so that, isn't that lovely? Like, yeah. come on. Don't eat it. It's toxic. Don't eat it. It's toxic. That is so pretty. But, but the thing is, is that this was before the internet when you had to make your own fun. <laughs> and you know what? You know? Time, things were so simple back then. They were. You just took a rhubarb leaf and you made a hat and you, you know, went down to the corner store. <laughs> we thought got a we, pot for 10 cents. Very, we did. We got a pot for 10 cents. And actually, there was a bush behind our house and we, we found this uh, sign that this, somebody wrote on a rock that said, Jesus saved. Saves. And we thought we found a miracle and we used to go pray at it. Anyway, so, yeah. And then I was going to become a nun and she said, well, you're not Catholic. I went, what kind of stupid rule is that? Anyway, so. Anyway. Okay, I so. want to go back in time and see you as a oh little girl. Oh, my God. Louise, Louise Portras, if you're listening, send me an email. You were crazy, too. Please anyway. catch up with so, this yeah. one. She's so. one for a lifetime. Okay, so All now right. that we actually have the rhubarb, what, are we, gonna, rhubarb. what are we going to make? So now there is a wives' tale, and I don't know if it's right or not, so I'm going to err on this side of caution to take off this little part, too, because there might be some oxalic acid in that. And okay. it's toxic. I mean, I'm talking, it can kill you. All so right. uh, so you want to cut that off and so no pets, it. your pet shouldn't be eating any no, of this No, and don't, I don't even compost those. I put those in the city composter. Oh, really? Because, you know, I guess everybody can die there, too. Anyway, so, <laughs> uh, but I don't put it back in my garden, okay? Okay. Now, size matters a lot, so uh, you'll see that, you know. It makes a big difference. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Uh, so I use these in more like baking. I'm going to use this yeah. in the scone that I'm going to do, the biscuit I'm going to do, and the bigger guys, I'm going to do savory. Okay. And one of the tricks is that, you know, because it's such a short season, is I do it, I, I cut it, and I do the right amount per recipe. So when I freeze it, I know. So this is one and a half cups, and this is for my rhubarb so ginger organized. biscuits. Okay, and then just freeze it flat. Remember, okay. always flat. Okay. All right. All right. So moving on, we are going to make a, a curry dish because I thought that that was a genius idea. It's a great idea, although I wouldn't necessarily think curry with rhubarb. I know, I, and that was the like I thought. How That's can what's I so use genius about local? it. Local. Okay. So we've got all the curry spices here. Yeah. So we've got like uh, there's some turmeric and uh, I don't know what that is. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, here, some brown salad, stuff. brown stuff, human <laughs> coriander, uh, and you're going to put, now that pepper is really a lot of pepper, so if you want to make it for your family, you might want a half it, I think it's yeah. a little teaspoon, okay. and a little teeny, <laughs> I like pepper, <laughs> I do too, and a little teeny bit of iodized salt, which I really love, and then we're going to mix that all up, okay. and have that, and then meanwhile, you're going to brown your chicken thighs, which I already did, so I didn't want to watch that, because that's boring, Okay. and then we're going to, chicken uh, thighs are good though, you get them, you can get like a big club pack for, yes, really inexpensively. And you know what? This freezes really, really well. So if you yeah. want to double it or even triple it, you right. can do that. Can you take me seriously with this bonnet on? <laughs> yeah, but it looks like you're like, well, are we going on 
on a buggy, a buggy ride now. All right. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I feel Should like a baby or a pioneer. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, well, but you it was can keep so yours fun. on if you like. I'm well, keeping my bikini. I feel like I was screaming because it is covering your ears. But they make really, really good fans. They're too. amazing they're, fans. They're wonderful, wonderful thing. Anyway, okay. Oh my gosh, I was yelling. So okay. So uh, okay. So the pot's right. warming up. So the pot's warming, and I use canola oil, and uh, that's from Metro. They have their own line. That's a product of Canada, which I'm really happy about. Nice. And then uh, we're gonna brown up some onion, uh, uh -huh. which is gonna be a long time happening. So we'll just go on with the next. Yeah, we, uh, and we like to pretend here. We like so to that's pretend. garlic. So that's that's actually ginger. Ginger. A whole lot of that's minced a lot ginger. Of ginger. Yeah. Are you good with the ginger? Because it's got such great health properties, doesn't it? I am thrilled with ginger because okay. it's really good for your tummy. I'm iffy about it. Are you really? It's one of those tastes, and I know people always say this about cilantro, but I find the same thing with ginger. Like a little goes a long way, and if you dislike that ginger taste, it's going to hit you in the head, right? Slap you right across the face. Okay. Well, you know what? Because this is kind of like the trilogy of a of uh, Eastern Asian cooking, Southern Asian cooking, yeah. garlic, onion, and ginger. You don't it's really want to. Yeah, you really want to yeah, get that no, flavor. Yeah, part of note. the equation. Okay, so we're gonna bump this up. We'll go up to. We're gonna go to. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go and up we're to, gonna do that. Okay, right there, good. Okay, and then, uh, so this would all get nice and browned up. And here's the trick when you're cooking. Um, you know, I'm not. I, I do my best at, at South Asian, but you always want to cook it in fat. So mm -hmm. you, you never add this at the end. You always add it into the oil. Yeah, and then fat's that's gonna, important. It really. It, you know what? For flavor. It's good for flavor, but it is. the right fats are really good for long-term health too. And so right. uh, there's. A, I was at a really cool seminar the other day, and they were talking about heart-healthy fats and that we really shouldn't scrimp on them. Yes. I, I'm not saying have a cup, but I'm saying you don't have to go crazy and, and have not have Have it in your them. diet. You it's really good should. for you. Okay, so then we do that, and that would all get browned up. Then we add the chicken back, and then we See, add... I hear it now. Rhubarb! Then you add all of your rhubarb. All the rhubarb, and a little bit of chicken stock to ha help that break down. Yeah. And then my secret ingredient is maple syrup. Ooh. And yeah, you can add... I liked one tablespoon but my husband liked two, okay? So you can do whatever yeah. you want. I, I, in the recipe and the nutrient analysis on your, uh, ouch. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's uh, no, no, touch it. It's hot. Anyway, it's hot. So when no, this touch it. all yeah. when this is all cooked together, you're it's gonna, gonna get your like your curried thighs. The curried thighs. You have a side of asparagus there, and the rhubarb would almost act as like a chutney, like a sweet chutney, you're right? You're right. And then you do a yogurt with with two percent uh, yogurt and some green onion. This is called a reda. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh mint out of my garden in it.